In this video, we're writing the program that hunts using the servo to find a gyro position. So your gyroscope should be mounted on top of the servo, and if the servo position, or if the gyro position is positive, it will decrease the servo position. If the gyro position is negative, it will increase the, positive, the, the servo position. That way the gyroscope is always pointing in the same direction, even if the base of the servo moves. If you haven't yet, be sure to check out the video before this one, called gyro hunting for target. This kind of shows what we're going to be making in this program. So here I have open the program from uh, the previous video, controlling a servo using integrating gyro. And I'm going to save as because I want to keep that. So I'm going to save it as something else. I'm going to save it as Hunting to position. Hunting to gyro position. That we're still having an old program. We're still going to have include core.h. We're still going to have the core, the PCB, the gyro. Uh, we'll still have server position and absolute. We still want to use those. So this, these are really good building steps because a lot of this is staying the same. PCB delayed start is going to stay the same. We're still going to enable the servo. Um, one thing that we I changed is that we're going to set server position to be 127 to start with. And then here we're going to set this to servo position. Otherwise, this servo position was 0 when initiated. That was no good. We couldn't set that to zero. So I want to make that a little uh, more, more clear so then we can change that server position in one spot and it'll, it'll trickle through the program. We're still going to have serial begin and this, this is rather important in this program because if this program goes through way too fast then the, the servo will switch from zero to one to zero to one or from zero to 255, zero to 255. Uh, way too fast because the, the gyroscope will go positive so then the servo will switch through all the way and get to its limit and then the gyro will go negative and it will switch through all the way and get to its other limit 180 degrees apart so you don't want to go through this too fast if you don't put serial in there we could also put in delay at the end um, but it's it's good to see the serial outputs anyway and test that after we get done this program comment out serial begin and see what happens see if you can figure out why that happens we're going to wait for one second to make sure the gyroscope is not moving. We're going to calibrate the gyro. So all this stuff is basically the same so far. We're still going to get the absolute value. And then it changes here. So all of this stuff is going to change. No longer are we going to do this, this equation. And we're still going to have to check for this, but it's going to be a different spot. We are always going to set the servo target. So what we can do is take this away and that away, and we'll, we'll take this line away as well, because we're going to use a different equation uh, uh, to figure that out. So as we showed in a previous video, if the gyro position is positive, we want to decrease server position. If the gyro position is negative, we want to increase server position. So that's pretty simple. If statements, we're going to say if absolute is greater than zero. So if gyro is positive, we're going to decrease server position. If absolute is less than zero, then we're going to increase server position. This negative, negative, positive, positive is just a way of saying plus one. So server position equals server position plus one. Same thing. Now we're going to run into the problem we had before where the, the servo is going to go uh, counting up or counting down. It'll go 255 and then it'll go to 256 or it'll, same thing as zero. Then it'll start counting up again. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. It'll get to 255 then go down to zero again or in the opposite direction. So we again want to make sure that doesn't happen. And we can do that pretty easily by adding in another condition here and say, well, 
if the server position is already zero, then we don't want to decrease it anymore. So we'll say if absolute is greater than zero and servo position does not equal zero, oops, does not equal zero, then we can still decrease it. If it equals zero, we don't want to decrease it anymore because it's it's already as low as it can go. And we're going to do the same thing down here. And servo position does not equal 255. If it already equals 255, then we don't want to increase it anymore because it's already as high as it can go. We don't want to make that any higher. We don't want to surpass 255. Excellent, we're looking good. We will upload this to the servo. Remember that we have a servo on port S0. Your gyroscope can be on any of the I2C ports that you want. So I'm going to upload this. And then I'm also going to open the serial monitor. So Control Shift M if I'm on a Windows machine. And I'll post here, here, uh, what that keystroke is if you're on a Mac. Okay, it's uploaded, PCB is flashing, I'm gonna press the PCB, gyroscope, or the servo positioned, gyroscope's calibrating, and now it's feeding out the values. Now this is pretty neat because uh, I show the video of this in the last uh, video, I showed the, the actual thing moving, but now you can see if it's positive, it's decreasing servo position. If absolute is negative, now it's increasing servo position. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this all the way over on one side and then we'll put it all the way over here, and once it moves, we'll pause this. There's a checkbox down here for auto scroll. We're going to uncheck that and then go back where it moved. So you can see over here how the absolute value is positive, so the servo position is decreasing. And it's decreasing by 1 every time. 116, 115, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And it's just counting out as fast as it can and it, every time it goes through the loop. Is decreasing just by one servo position. Pretty neat. And then we can see that when it was negative, it's increasing. Two, uh, 207, 208, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's as simple as it is. In the next video, we're going to be making a robot turn using the gyro. It's going to turn use the same concept. If it's negative, or we're going to say it was less than target, then we'll turn in one direction. If it's positive, then we'll turn in another direction. It's gonna be very similar. So this, this theory is really good. So continue on to the next program, or the next video, where you can turn your robot using the gyroscope.